Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We get a number of people that are coming in here with issues regarding their elbow, their forearm, and their wrist, and sometimes in their fingers too. And what's going on with these folks, they're coming in and they're, they, they've been told that, or they think they may have tennis elbow, because it's pain on kind of the, the elbow, the outside part of the elbow right here, kind of on the thumb side if you will, and kind of in this area right here, this part of the forearm, and even weakness with, when it hurts when they extend their fingers like this, and sometimes weakness with gripping. So what's going on here with these folks? It's a condition known as radial tunnel syndrome. Now, what the heck is that? Well, it, it kind of mimics tennis elbow, and some people with tennis elbow also have this, but the tennis elbow is lateral epicondylitis. In other words, it's, it's pain at that lateral epicondyle of the humerus, so the upper arm bone, pinpoint tenderness right there. Well, what this is, is just down from that, this musculature right here, right here in the forearm, there's the radial nerve, and then as it dives deep, it turns into the posterior interosseous nerve, P-I-N for short, and it's getting entrapped in there and it's causing all kinds of weird symptoms, pain, discomfort, weakness in the forearm, the elbow, pain in the elbow, and down into the fingers too. So how do you fix that? How do you fix radial tunnel syndrome? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you three simple exercises that you can do at home to floss or glide that nerve as it travels throughout your neck down radial nerve, down into your forearm and into the fingers, we're gonna, anywhere down that pathway, it can get entrapped or compressed. So, we're gonna show you three exercises that are gonna help floss that or glide that nerve through its pathway and thereby giving you relief. So, join me, shall you? Now the first exercise it involves your forearm. Now, when you're doing these exercises, you don't want to have your elbow fully extended. You want it extended, but not fully locked out, just short of being locked out. That's what we usually recommend. And so in this, let's say I'm having problems with my right arm. This is my right arm here. I'm having pain and discomfort right down here in the forearm, in the elbow. And these are supination pronation gliding. So what you're doing is like pretend you're grabbing a ball. If you want, you can grab a ball just like that. And you're just doing this back and forth 20 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Do that for another 10. So that way you get 10 going each way. And what you're doing here is you're allowing that radial nerve to move through the soft tissues, especially right in through here, where in the forearm, where it's the, where the radial nerve dives deep and turns into the posterior interosseous nerve, where you gain that radial tunnel syndrome going on. So you're doing these back and forth, just like this, and be deliberate with it. So when you do this, you wanna make sure you're getting to end range, and end range, end range, and end range. And be aware that this may be really sensitive on, on some of you folks. So again, do this to your tolerance. So if your end range is relatively short, like right there, and you start feeling stuff, just end right there. You wanna stay in relatively free, pain-free ranges as you do this. And as you get better and better, as, your moment, as, you, as that nerve starts to free up in there, you'll be able to do more and more ranges as you do that. So that's the first exercise. The second exercise is called the waiter's tip. And uh, so I'll show you here in just a second. So what you do is you're here like this. So you have your arm, let's say this is my right side, I'm having problems right in here. And what I'm doing is I'm taking it down like this. So my thumb is here, I'm taking it down and inward and I'm going back behind me like this, see that? So now my hand is, my palm is facing up, but behind me like this. So you're kind of like this, and like that, but now you're also tilting your head like this. So, boom, boom. And now you're not, and again, you're not gonna fully lock out your elbow, just shy 
of locking out your elbow. So here you are, give me a tip. We call it the waiter's tip. So give me a tip, boom, like that. Give me a tip. And then you're also at the same time, as you get to here, you're tilting your head to the side, the opposite side. See that? Boom. Again, do about 10 to 15 reps here. Boom. Boom. And these can be very, very sensitive. You could just, you could just be in here like this and you can kind of already feel it in, in giving you symptoms. So again, do this to your tolerance. You can be very, very sensitive in here. And then as you get more and more range over time, you can get farther and farther away. You can tilt your head farther and farther. And you can even turn your hand, pronate your hand. This is pronation, right? So I'm pronating my hand. And you can pronate it farther and farther as you do this. So waiter's tip. Boom. Give me a tip. Give me a tip. Give me a tip. Turn your head to the opposite side. That is the second exercise. Last but not least is the third exercise to work out this nerve that's entrapped, the posterior interosseous nerve, which is a branch of the radial nerve, to get it un, unentrapped or decompressed through its pathway. So what you do is you stand, you're standing like this and you have your palm face down just like this. And all you're doing is simply bringing, going to wrist flexion, right? So your fingers down like this, and then fingers up, hand down, fingers up. Now again, just shy of lockout. You're not gonna, just shy of lockout. And then boom, and again, 10 to 15 reps in through here like this, nice and deliberate. And then you can also add in, as you point your fingers down, you can tilt your head away from the involved side. This is not left side now. So let's pretend I'm having issues with my left side. Boom. See that? Again, work to your tolerance. These can be very, very sensitive. I mean, to start, some folks, this is it. This is it for some folks. And then as they get better and better, they can get more and more range. And as that nerve gets freed up through its pathway, it starts to glide better, starts to floss through there better. Boom. And then they can get full range and through there. 10 to 15 reps. Do these every day now don't do all three of them every day pick one do 10 to 15 reps see how that goes especially if you're really really sensitive and work to up to all three if you're getting better and better and better so start with one a set of 10 to 15 except for the ones where you're doing pronation supination do 20 and then work up to all three each day and then you'll find as you progress and you get better and better, you'll be able to start doing all three and then pain gone. If you have any questions with this video, drop it off in the comment section below. We thank you for watching, we appreciate it. If you're new here, hit subscribe. And when you hit subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification button because that'll keep you in the loop with subsequent videos coming here in the near future. And that way you can continue to move well, live well. Also, I know you know folks who may be battling with tennis elbow. And it may be radial tunnel syndrome, pain in the forearm right here. This kind of this wad, if you will, of muscle in the forearm, symptoms down in the wrist and even in the fingers. Share this with them. Sharing is caring. So that way, in case it does not tennis elbow, it's probably radial tunnel syndrome. Also, give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. It lets us know you care. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.